Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading. As always, take what resonates, leave what does not. I'm going to use my Green Witch Tarot and my Empowering Questions. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, the links are down below. Also, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. All right, we're going to start with an empowering questions. I also have my Rose Forever Roses out here on display. If you're looking for a really cool, unique gift that lasts for a long time, the link will be down below. All right, we have, what is my life like when it is in balance? Ooh, what does it feel like? What are you doing? What is your outlook? What is your perceptive? perception like who do you surround yourself with what are those things that you're doing when you feel that your life is in balance when you see feel that everything is is working the way that you wanted it to there's no ups no downs you're just kind of moving along nicely what does that feel like what are you doing so ask yourself those questions okay so we have our green witch tarot and i'm going to look at what the conflict may be for Capricorn, so we have Ten of Swords, Empress, and King of Pentacles. What do you need to focus on? We have the Ace of Pentacles, we have the um, Page of Cups, and we have the Fool. We also, for energies coming in, we have the Two of Wands. And I like this one because it's like, is she saying hello or is she saying goodbye? right? So are you letting things go? Are you letting things in? Or are you doing both, right? So what is it that you're doing there? Three of Wands, I feel like it's kind of packing up and moving on. It's kind of putting in storage what doesn't work for you or moving on from things and kind of, it could be physically that maybe you are moving to another space or um, you're moving in a direction, like you're moving to another town or whatever. It could be that or it could just be mentally, like you're packing up what doesn't work for you. Um, you're saying goodbye to the old and welcoming the new and you're setting your boundaries, right? Overall energy, we have the three of pentacles, which is work, getting down to work. So again, what is my life like when it is in balance, when you feel that it's balanced? What are those things, right, to get yourself back into balance? So we have what you may be struggling with we have the the ten of swords and I was kind of caught by her face and how she's looking down and she feels she's focusing on what she's doing but I kind of was just looking at her face there and it was just like I feel like it's a it's a sense of like feeling like you're alone feeling like you're um or it could be having trouble with finding that time to be alone, right? Finding that time to appreciate those, those, those moments to yourself. I feel that there's a lack, you're feeling a lack of abundance. You're feeling a, a lack of patience with yourself. I feel like maybe you're short tempered and you don't have patience for things. It could be it could be that your work is affecting your home life definitely without a doubt because we spend so much time at work or working that depending on how that part of our day goes because it's such a big chunk of our day it affects the other parts of our day and i feel like that may be something that you kind of feel like you're in this cycle where you're always kind of having to deal with all of this work stuff and okay all of this kind of went all over so we have the two of swords we have the nine of cups maybe it was something that you felt you were moving towards something that you felt that was very positive and was your nine of cups but right it didn't turn out to be what it is you thought it was whether this is a relationship or maybe it's a situation or you move someplace or you're doing a job and I feel that maybe it was something that you feel disappointed because it didn't turn out the way that you thought it was going to. And we all have those situations, right? It's a learning curve. It could be new friendships. It could be, you know, partnerships. It could be jobs. It could be lots of different things that were like, oh, like, I feel like this is the answer. And you know what? I feel that, yes, it was the answer. And 
you were able to realize something from it, right? It's all about perception and how you look at it. And if you're in a situation, right, it's all about perception and how you look at it is you tried something and what did you learn from it? And if it didn't work out the way that you thought, did you learn something about yourself? Was it a relationship patterns? And you kept having the same relationship patterns and now you realize, do you know what? That's not the type of relationships that I want, the friendships or the partnerships and realizing that that's not really what satisfies me because I, I keep ending up in the same place. Or maybe it's jobs or, you know, work situations. And you're like, you know what, I've tried to make this work and it's just not working for me. I thought it was going to be the be all end all, but it's not. And that's okay because that was something that you learned. You learned that, okay, that's not, I know what I don't want to do. Or I know what I don't want in relationships, right? I know what it is I need to focus on. I know what it is that I need to let go of. I know my boundaries. I feel like this card here is boundaries. That it's kind of like you know what you don't want, so you're able to set those boundaries and say, I know what I do want. And what you need to focus on is having that clean slate and making sure that whatever happened here that you were struggling with, right, that this really is a learning lesson for you, especially with the Empress being there. And you're starting new and you're starting fresh, right? All this is fresh new energy. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, which is Pages is young new energy, and she has her blank canvas here, and we have the Fool, the Green Man, and it's like celebrating. Okay, I've moved on. I've learned from this situation. I've learned from this lesson. Yes, it was a heartbreak. It was letting it let me down, but I feel like with this Two of Swords, it's like looking at both sides of the situation. Do you look at this as something that worked, you know, with you or against you? And then we have, yeah, a new way of thinking and saying, okay, I know that that's what I don't want. And um, focusing on the things, I feel like it's coming together with uh, relationships that you feel do work for you and focusing on those things. But then also choosing yourself and choosing love for yourself and saying, well, this wasn't making me feel happy. This wasn't making me feel good. This wasn't wasn't a positive thing for me because I love myself enough that I want to go for my 10 of cups. I want that emotional fulfillment and that security and that balance. I kind of feel like this goes right here is when my life, what is my life like when it's in balance? What does that feel like, right? Who are the people that you're surrounding yourself with? What are those things that you're doing? Um, and then kind of realize, because sometimes we don't think about it like we're just kind of going along and we're not really thinking about who we're surrounding ourselves with and, and what we're surrounding ourselves because we don't think about it, right? Because our life is in balance, so we don't even think about it, right? If there's something negative that's going on, we're focusing on that. Or if there's something really exciting and new, like we're focusing on that. But when our life is in balance, when it's just moving along nicely, right? We don't really think about things because there's really not much to think about. It's just like going through the motions. So... Again, maybe now this is the time to think about it. We have the chariot, we have the page of pentacles, and then we have the queen of swords. So I feel like that's working through this situation and setting your boundaries, right? Learning to set your boundaries. Oh, look at that, ace of cups. Again, a new beginning, emotions, feelings, looking out for yourself and the relationships or the situations that you put yourself in that are fulfilling, that make you happy, that make you feel good, right? That give you that security of that 10 of cups and that, that safe, calm feeling. And when you feel secure in your own skin, then you're like, okay, I'm ready for those challenges, right? I'm ready to take the reins and I'm ready to move forward. But I feel like there's some boundaries that this lesson, this here is for you to realize what boundaries you need to set. Sometimes we don't realize those boundaries until we go through a situation, but I feel like this situation, and that's how you have to look at it, is okay, I realize that I have to set boundaries, which are this and this and that, right? Okay, so we have a Star Dragons card. We have transformation, defining yourself, Defi that's perfect. Because that goes with setting those boundaries, right? You're defining yourself and you're saying, 
this is what I need emotionally and this is what I need to surround myself because this is when I feel balanced and I feel safe. And I'm de you're defining yourself and you're saying, I'm not going to put up with this and I'm not going to put up with that and I'm not going to deal with this. And that if I don't set my own boundaries for myself, right, thinking of those things and what you need to do, if I don't set those boundaries for myself, then like everything just is a muck, just like the cards had spilled all over. So it's like I have to learn to set those boundaries for myself and I have to stick by that, right, and not let other situations or people manipulate me because, you know, they don't like the boundaries that I set. But it's up to me to set my boundaries. And I love that progression because we have the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups. We have the Ace of Cups. So it's a lot about those emotions and feelings and fulfilling yourself. And that you're responsible for that for yourself. Because you are responsible for the things that you surround yourself with. And the people that you surround yourself with. And, you know, if you're not happy at a, a work situation, what are those things that you can do to change that? Right? Right? because um, you're in charge of finding those solutions to change it. All right, let's see. Um, let's grab a Whispers of Healing to close it out. Realizing that you're powerful and that you can make changes if you want changes. We have forward movement, definitely. I love that because I feel that that goes with the chariot. And then we also have the butterflies, which is transformation and change. So it's that forward movement, that momentum, not staying in something that you feel is unsatisfying, but having that forward momentum to move forward and make those changes that are needed. All right. Thank you so much for watching. <clears throat> As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.